What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy MM2K back again with another video. Before we get too deep into this one, do me a huge favor hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please. And so you know when your boy's dropping these doses, I appreciate all of y'all straight up because you know the deal. I ain't too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay. Uh, big deal, y'all. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in some ways, where I know a lot of people are probably gonna look at this and say, MM2K, this is an old game. It really doesn't matter. But it's a big game at that. And and, and the game I'm talking about here is Grand Theft Auto V, which I know everybody and their grandma already got <laughs> in a lot of cases. But it's coming to Game Pass. Here's why this is significant. A lot of people, and again, I repeat, Grand Theft Auto V is coming to Game Pass. Now, it is on sale at the time of this recording um, for $15. It regularly goes for $30, though, right? And it's like the biggest game, pretty much, of the end of last generation and this generation. It spans two generations. It's like one of the hugest things ever to exist, right? Even though this game goes all the way back to last generation, here's why this is significant. It's still on NPD top 10 charts every month. Damn well. Okay. So here's where Xbox can really leverage this relationship. And it's crazy because I'm right now, I'm going to show y'all something because this is why they need to do this. Even though they got Game Pass, even though they got Grand Theft Auto on Game Pass, I'm on uh, what do you call it? I'm on GameSpot and <laughs> PlayStation. So uh, strategically, has a, uh, a, a Grand Theft Auto advertisement up on an Xbox Game Pass Grand Theft Auto uh, um, article. Look at this. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. But with that being said, let me get back on track here. Because of things like that, this is why Xbox needs to heavily market maybe the sad edition and say, look, you can now get Grand Theft Auto V, the biggest game this generation with Xbox game, included in Xbox Game Pass and an Xbox sad for the measly price of, I wanna say $150. I would keep it still around $150, even though we're past the holidays. You know what I'm saying? Get into this great service and carry the games over with you when the next generation of consoles come out. Boom, there goes the dynamite. You know what I'm saying? That's That, that, that would really solidify the ecosystem in a positive way. It's not going to change. It's not going to change the game. Everybody's looking for the silver bullet um, that Microsoft needs to change the game in order for it to be newsworthy. And this ain't it. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that silver bullet in order for it to be newsworthy. I think this is a very good thing. I've said in the past that Game Pass needs games that if they're going to get old third-party games, they need old third-party games that are going to be on the most played list. Currently, all of their older third-party games, nobody's really playing. Metro, which is still a great game, ain't up there. You know what I'm saying? Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is a great game, ain't still up there. Ain't up there. Devil May Cry, which is a very good game to, to many people, isn't up there. This will be the first game, third-party game, that I think will have people come to the system and say, ooh, crap, I, I can pay this. I, I can get this system, for, I mean, get this uh, uh, service for like a dollar. You know, link it to my Xbox Live, get it for a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Load it up till 2023 and then get an Xbox uh, One Sad to play it on. You know what I mean? For a buck 50? You can't beat that. So if I'm Microsoft, I'm heavily, you know what I'm saying, utilizing that bundle, okay? And I will get on that ASAP. So again, we're seeing Game Pass flesh out a little bit more. It's a lot more valuable, you know what I'm saying, than what it was when it originally hit the market and that's with all things you know what i'm saying that's why people crack me up when they were like oh you know well this this and that and the other ain't big because it ain't big when it launched game pass wasn't big when it launched and it's starting to grow and grow you know what i mean switch wasn't necessarily super huge when it launched but it was starting to grow and grow you know what i'm saying so 
this is something that Microsoft can capitalize on if they do it right. And I think this is this is a good deal. But that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about this again. Grand Theft Auto 5 is now coming to Game Pass. Big deal? Too late. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And with that said, you guys enjoy your 2020. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.